Hello friends and welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Do you want to learn about the most majestic carnival of all the animals? Yes? Presenting the king of the jungle, the lion. The lion is the second largest feline in the world after the tiger. They can measure almost two and a half meters in length and can weigh 250 kilos. That's 250 kilograms of sheer strength and agility. Wow! They have excellent sight and can see six times better than humans can at night time. They also have great hearing and are able to hear the noise made by small mammals such as this meerkat moving. They also have powerful teeth and dangerously sharp claws. They live in Africa as well as Northeast India and tend to live in prides, which are like families and are usually made up of 15 females, one to three males and many cubs younger than three years old. The lionesses are very family orientated as they have always been living in the same pride with their grannies, mothers, daughters, cousins and sisters. A wild lion tends to live between 10 to 14 years, but in captivity, meaning in zoos, a lion even lived to see his 25th birthday. Lions are actually very lethargic animals and spend their days sleeping or resting and at night time they become more active and go out to hunt. But not a great deal because out of the 24 hours in a day, they spend 20 hours resting. Normally it is the female which hunts and they prey on zebras, antelopes and buffalo. But sometimes they even try to catch an elephant. Even though the lionesses do most of the hunting, the males get to eat first. And that's a bit cheeky, don't you think? It is very easy to identify the differences between a male lion and a female as the male has a big mane and is larger in size. The female gives birth to two to four cubs and their gestation period is around a hundred days. During the first three months, the cubs feed on their mother's milk as they are mammals and as soon as they grow all their teeth, they start eating meat. Though they seem to be like freeloaders, male lions have a very important task as they are in charge of protecting the pride and their territory. Their roar is so powerful that it can be heard over eight kilometers away. And they use it to let all the pride's members know if there is danger about, as well as showing their enemy their power. Even though they're not an endangered species, lions are being more and more threatened. Their number has decreased tremendously due to poaching and illnesses caused by contaminated water and air pollution. So as always, on behalf of Happy Learning, we ask you please to look after nature. It is our home as well as all living things. Don't pollute the rivers nor seas. Don't contaminate the forests. And recycle everything you can. If we all together take care of nature, both lions and all the planet's inhabitants will be a lot happier. So now you know. Goodbye friends, until a new Happy Learning video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Mammals. The diversity of mammals is amazing. They can be as huge as these whales or as tiny as this cute little balancing mouse. They can be noisy like this howler monkey or quiet like this hedgehog with its sharp pointy spines. 
even though they're amazingly diverse, all mammals have a number of common characteristics you should know about so you can recognize and differentiate them. All mammals are viviparous. They are born from their mother's womb. In their early stages of life, they feed on milk, which they get from their mother's breasts, where the mammary glands are. And that's why they're called mammals. And when they're little, they're so cute, aren't they? Mammals reproduce by internal fertilization when a sperm cell and an egg join inside a female. As you can see, they have teeth inside their mouths and lips around them so they can eat and suck milk. Most mammals' bodies are covered with hair and all mammals breathe with their lungs even if they live in the sea. Look at these dolphins coming up to the surface for air. The body temperature of mammals doesn't depend on whether it's cold or hot outside because they can maintain their own internal temperature. Almost all mammals are terrestrial, like camels and jaguars. Some live in the sea and are called marine mammals, like these dolphins and these seals. There's even a flying mammal. Bats are the only mammal that flies. Mammals have four limbs, which vary depending on where they live. Land mammals have legs, so they can walk and run when they need to, and jump, and sometimes even climb. Marine mammals have fins so they can swim very fast. And flying mammals have wings so they can fly through the sky. Do you know which is the most wonderful mammal that lives on Earth? Human beings! People are mammals too. How mammals feed. Depending on what they eat, mammals can be classified into different groups. Herbivores only eat plants and their teeth are especially designed for grinding. Horses, sheep and llamas are herbivorous animals. Some very special herbivores are called ruminants. They swallow their food almost without chewing it, and some of it is digested normally, but some of it is stored in their stomach. And when they want to, they regurgitate it into their mouth to digest it again. Cows, giraffes and goats are ruminants. Carne means skin or meat in Latin, and that's what carnivores eat, the flesh of other animals. Their teeth are large and sharp for hunting and tearing at their food. Carnivores that eat insects and other invertebrates are called insectivores, like these anteaters. Omnivorous mammals feed on both meat and plants. Bears, monkeys and humans are omnivores. We can eat a tasty burger with lettuce and tomato. So, let's remember. Mammals are viviparous, and in the early stages of life, they feed on milk from their mother's breasts. They have lips and breathe with their lungs. Their body temperature does not depend on the environment they're in, and depending on their food sources, they may be herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores. Easy, right? So, goodbye for now, everybody, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.